name is Kenny Hawk. I'm the owner of Hawk Designs. We build custom one-off radical show vehicles. So here today, I'm going to show you our 1947 Dodge Power Wagon and show you some of the details that makes it unique. First thing you might notice is our headlight rings. We are using Dana 60 ring gears. We've made some custom mounts for that on our old Dodge Power Wagon front and grill. We've modified one of our factory Hawk bumpers squashed it down so that it fits the proportions of the Dodge Power Wagon, put our worn 12,000 pound wench in there so that we're all good for recovering things from the front. Our basis of this project is a 94 Dodge Ram. It's a great starting point for a lot of the projects like this. So we used a 12 valve Cummins that came in that 94 Dodge Ram, did a compound turbo setup on the 12 valve, made a few little tweaks and adjustments for some extra torque and horsepower. We modified the front suspension by doing these coilover hoops in the front with 16-inch Bilstein coilovers, I-box springs, and moved the front axle forward approximately six to eight inches, giving us a better approach angle when we're out rock crawling. You'll see we've got a BDS long arm system up here in the front. We converted that from a four-link to a three-link, so it articulates really well, and then linked it up to our transfer case with a JE Reel drive shaft. To make it a little easier to get in and out of, we added these horse stirrups. Found these on my grandfather's old saddle that he used. I thought it'd be a nice little piece and nice little touch. We reupholstered the factory seat with the Bartek seat cover. If you look inside here, you'll see a Willwood brake and master cylinder setup. I did it steering column, autometer gauges, our ox locker controls, our Atlas transfer case controls. This is a functional record. When we go out on the trails, we go off-roading, we want to make sure that we're prepared to help people out there. So Gear Wrench hooked us up with this beautiful set of tools. The nice thing is it's got this custom mat set up so that all the tools have a home, so they're not rattling around in the boxes. Everything is right in its right place. It makes it really slick. We've got two rear axles. We got a Ford pass-through nine-inch center axle, and we've got a Sterling 10 and a half in the rear. Flexes out really nice, and has been a blast to go wheeling. Then we've got our custom boom up here that we made. The idea was to make it look like an old school record from the 50s. We found this hook in a junkyard. Uh, I thought it would be a nice fit on this. Still very, very functional. We went wheeling out in Utah here just recently and did quite a bit of recovery work on the trail. It was a lot of fun. M met some new friends that way. The most important part is the stuff you can't see. That's the AMSOIL in the engine. Without that, none of this stuff would work. For me, it's like a dream come true to build these kind of vehicles. It's a blast to just let my creativity run wild. I love that, and we got a lot more crazy builds coming. 